In this video, I want to prove why uh, in a quadratic equation, the second difference is 2a. Okay, so the objective of this video is to prove that in a quadratic equation, the second difference is 2a. So let me write a quadratic equation, the general form of a quadratic equation. The general form is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's make a general quadratic equation. So let's start with x is x and y. Okay, so let's start with 1. So when x is 1, if you put 1 in this equation, it's going to be a times 1 squared, which is going to be a, plus b times b times 1 is b plus c. Okay, what when, when x is 2, this is going to be a times 2 squared, so that's going to be 4a plus 2b plus c. When x is 3, this is going to be 3 times, sorry, a times 3 squared, which is going to be 9a plus 3b plus 2c plus c. Let's take one more. When x is 4, it is a times 4 squared, which is going to be 16a plus 4b plus c. So let's find the first difference. The first difference is the difference between the y values. So what's the difference between these two? That means this minus this. Okay. So if you take away this from this, so let me show you that. So I'm going to take away this from this. So let me show you that here. Yeah. So this is 4a plus 2b plus c. Take away a plus b plus c. This is what I mean. This is, say, the first value of y, and this is the second value of y. So this minus this. So if you expand the bracket, so this is 4a plus 2b plus c. Opening the bracket, this is going to be minus a minus b minus c. So this plus c and minus c gets cancelled. So you've got 4a minus a. Uh, grouping the like terms, plus 2b minus b. So this is going to be how much? This is going to be 3a plus b. So the first difference between the first, the second and the first is 3a plus b. 3a plus b. So I now, I think, I, I hope you can see the difference of this. So basically, 9a take away, if you look at this directly, 4a take away a is, 3a and 2b take away b is going to be b and c minus c plus c minus c is going to get cancelled. So if you take away the difference, so this is this is how you can find the difference directly. 9a take away 4a is going to be 5a and plus this is going to be 2b. Okay, and this this is going to be sorry this is not going to be 2b. This is going to be B. 3B take away 2B is going to be B. And finally, so what's the dis this difference? 16A take away 9A is going to be 7A. 4B take away 3B is going to be plus B. And C take away C is going to get cancelled. And finally, the second difference. The second difference is difference between the first difference. Okay, so if you do that, the difference of this, 5a take away 3a is going to be 2a, and b take away b is going to get cancelled. And this is also 7a take away 5a is going to be 2a. Okay, so let's make up, let's use this knowledge to find the rule of a quadratic pattern. So let's scroll this up and say come up with a Say so this is a pattern you've got x and y so let's find the rule uh, between x and y so this seems to be a quadratic pattern if you look at the first difference and the second difference so let's first find the first difference first difference is between the y values so this is plus phi so this is phi this is how much? This is 7, 
this is uh, this is five seven okay so this is one thirty one one four two nine four thirty one so this is plus five this is uh, this is not plus seven sorry so this is how much this is plus five and this is plus nine okay nine plus nine is eighteen and this is how much uh, this is 18 plus what is 31 18 plus 13 am I right yeah 18 plus 13 and this is this 31 48 take away 13 or 31 plus what is so this should be 17 okay am I right yeah this is 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus 9 is 18 18 plus 13 is 31 and 31 plus 17 is 48 so let's look at the second difference so the second difference is always going to give you 2a so second difference is always 2a so the second difference this is 4 this is 4 this is 4 so we can say let me write it here so I need more space so 2a is going to be 4 or a is 4 so a is going to be 2 so let's write the let me change color so the equation the general form of a quadratic equation is y is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c so let's put a as 2 so this becomes y y is equal to 2x squared plus bx plus c so now we have to slowly find out what is b and c so we know when x is 1 y is 4 so when x is 1 y is equal to 4 so let's substitute this in this equation so y of 4 y is 4 is equal to 2 times 1 squared which is uh, which is going to be 2 so let's put the value like this 2 times 1 squared it's always good to good to go through the process plus b times 1 plus c so the first equation is 4 is equal to this is 2 plus b plus c so let us take away 2 from both sides if we take away 2 from both sides you get b plus c is equal to 2 okay so this is your first equation okay <coughs> let's do the second equation what's the second equation so let me write it here so when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 9 y is equal to 9 So let's substitute this again in this equation. So this implies 9 is, go is equal to 2 times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. Now this is where most of the students, many students do mistake. You have to use the bed mass. You have to simplify this and then multiply 2. So you can't multiply. This is not... 4 squared. You can't multiply this 2 times 2 and then 4 squared. So this is, you have to do the exponent and then multiply. So 9 is equal to, so this is 2 times 4 which is 8 plus 2b plus c. Now taking away 8 from both sides, what is that you're getting? You're getting 2b plus c is equal to 1. One. Okay, so let's sub let's write both these equations. This is the bigger equation, so let's write 2b plus c is equal to 1, and you got b plus c is equal to 2. And let's take away or subtract. So this is equation 2, and this is equation 1. 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away take away that means I'm going to do 2 minus 1 equation 2 take away equation 1 so I'll read like this 2b minus b is going to be b c minus c is going to get cancelled this and this is going to get cancelled and 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 1 so b is going to be negative 1 so let me write b here yeah. b is negative 1 and we need to now just figure out what is c so let me write it here so what is that we know b plus c is 2 b plus c is equal to 2 is equal to 2 so let me scroll this to this side I can put b as negative 1 so negative 1 plus c is equal to 2 and adding 1 to both sides so c should be 3 okay so the equation is so we can say c is equal to 3 so let's we need to check our answer so we can say y we can say the equation is y is equal to 2x squared minus x minus x plus 3 and this is the equation it's been always good to check your answer by checking one value so let's check this value when x is 4 y should be 31 when x is 4 let's see if y is 31 so let's put 4 here in this equation so y is equal to y is equal to 2 times 4 squared minus 4 plus 3 okay so this is how much uh, this is 16 this is 2 times 16 which is 32 and this is going to be minus 1 so 32 take away 1 is 31 so this equation is right so we can be sure that a is 2 b is negative 1 and c is 3